Hey, this is Ute from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner. You know what this is? Right, that's the buckleweed. And what I'm doing when I'm going back inside to the kitchen, I want to show you how to make out of buckleweed infused oil creams, step by step. Stay tuned. See you soon in the kitchen. Hey, today I want to show you buckleweed and I infused it in olive oil and what we are doing now is we are pressing the buckleweed so the material and filter out the oil, the infused oil. And then, my water is cooking already, and I'm telling you why the water is cooking, that's a double Double boiler, I said, double boiler, I have no clue. So there's water and then a little pot on top. To make creams, what we are doing right now, I need these ones. And this need to be melted. This is one of the basics what we need for the buttermeat cream. And always use some wooden spoon or wooden stick so you can always turn it around that it's not burning on but right now the buckleweed infused in olive oil always keep an eye on your wax and then you have to press it out this is just the water nothing happens like this and this is the rest of the material and you can put it outside on your compost if you have something like this don't be afraid that's just the water which is coming out so I would say I keep it right in this right now. Put this aside. What I need for 10 one ounce tins is one cup of this infused in olive oil infused buckleweed, one cup. So, to measure one cup of this goodie. All right, that's it. Keep an eye on your wax. It has to be completely melted, otherwise your cream is not soft and have so, and has some sticky knobs in it. So <laughs> there we have to wait a little bit more. Just water. In the meantime, let me put the tins. And as I said, one cup of the oil, of the infused oil, and we will get 10 one ounce tins full of cream. So. show it to you now. See there's just a little bit of wax left in pieces. Now it's melted, completely melted. What we are doing now is we are putting the one cup of the infused oil into the wax And now we have to stir, 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 stir. 
until everything is in one. It's combining the wax. With the oil. And it's the same here. It takes a while. So the whole making of, of a cream, it's a longer process and you have to have patience, <laughs> which is not my favorite thing. But switch off the oven. Nearly there. And now, I hope you can see that, just fill it up in all of your pins. And as I said, this was one cup. Even a little bit more, but I'm always looking that the tins are really full. One more here. All right. This is now the buttery cream. And the buttery cream, it's still liquid. It takes about two hours until it's getting really solid. And the buckwheat cream is for your yeah, eczema on your on your skin, dry skin, and you don't want to hear that, but it's very good for hemorrhoids. This is just an idea. So the most thing is for the skin and for hemorrhoids. All right, I hope you enjoy. Maybe you want to do it on your own. Let me know. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Love and light. This was Ute. See ya.